Do you believe, boys, that love can bloom on a battlefield? Because I think it can. With 7 cubes with a 70% win rate, this deck managed to be... Very okay. It just is not bad because I'll go over quickly if you don't know if you're not in the loop. So there's a current event going on. It's a power imbalance patch and not a balance patch, which is depressing for all the competitive players. But for all the players who love playing with their old cards, you are in for luck because finally you get to play Agent 13 and Captain America and feel good about it. So what do I have to say? This deck is really fun, mostly because all of you will probably have all the cards in the deck so you can play this immediately. And and if you play good enough, and if you just believe in yourself, love will conquer all. So we'll go over quickly every single card by card. So Agent 13 is a 1-4 if you have Captain America. This card is ridiculous. A 1-4 is not just above stats, it's just an Ant-Man that completely fills the lane you can play anywhere. This card is absolutely cracked in the deck and Captain America is a free 5 with Vox all your cards by plus 1. He should be this by default. I don't care about anything like Oh yeah, but Series 1 and Series 2 players will manage to have that problem. Who cares? Captain America is too iconic to be bad. Angela, though. Her power couple is Sarah. And Sarah is one of the best cards in the game. Angela is terrible. We have no ways to bounce stuff. We have nothing. Like, nothing. Angela is not good. She's not good in this deck. But there is one thing it does, and that's give Sarah her extra bit of power that she lost back in the day. So you play her anyway, and it's in theme. Daredevil buffs the She-Hulk. It's good, mostly because of one thing. So Daredevil makes it so your opponent can never snap ever like it's just too dangerous because daredevil can shift the tide of a game immediately and if the opponent will snap they'll do it on turn five so you get to retreat for one cube who cares you lost one cube but daredevil is one of the best gate keepers for cubes make sure to include them in most of your decks if you're like a new player or you just want well a cheeky way to win because you just snap on five and you manage to win a lot star lord and gamora were absolutely ridiculous ridiculous i tell you these were the best two cards in the deck because star lord is a two six and Gamora is a 5-13. A 5-13 if you can predict. She did manage to win us almost every single game where we played her in. We will have a sad Thanos loss, but hey, that's what happens. I didn't see anybody besides one player try to power couples out. So it's kind of depressing to see that nobody's even attempting to try the mechanic out. But we managed to win a lot, so otherwise we're just playing Invisible Woman and Mr. Fantastic. They don't really have any synergy, but they're fine because like Invisible Woman is a 2-5. She's a lizard, basically. And a Mr. Fantastic is a free 4, which means he's a free 8 because he spreads on 4... And like three different lanes he's just really good scarlet witch was just good against thanos and stuff like that because you get to switch out of location immediately and the vision becoming a five nine is a buff i fought once he needed but then they brought a, a lot of other support for move stuff so i guess he's really fine at five eight and sarah i've already explained she hulk i don't know she was good in one game or two otherwise she was just a thing i was like man why am I playing this? But then she did manage to redeem herself in the end. So guys, love did conquer all and make sure to conquer every single one of your opponents this Valentine's Day by playing this deck. So if you enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a like, comment, subscribe, yada yada boys. Let's get snapping. Okay, guys, we're gonna be playing Love Conquers All, a deck that just, well, plays all of the love cards. So if you ever wanted a deck that's as meme as possible, here you go. We'll see if love can truly conquer Marvel Snap and I... I have my doubts, I'll tell you immediately. Well, we have Invisible Woman, Mr. Fantastic, one of the better combos in the deck, definitely. What did they get? They got Quinjet. Yeah, uh, this probably kills us instantly. Like, this matchup is that bad. Like, what do we do against Loki? I guess we'll find out, won't we? Oh, Lo Quinjet, Zabu, no one's having fun. Welcome to Marvel Snap. This is... There truly are the Snappers degree. Uh, well, this is going to be interesting to see how it turns out. I have almost nothing. They have literally two of the strongest cards in the game. Played early in their deck. Oh, they have Snow Guard as well. They have Mirage as well. Uh, they have probably everything. They're going to snap now. I just know, because I know things. That's my entire moniker on Marvel Snap. I, I just I know everything. Oh, he's gonna snow guard Hawk here, so he can't do anything. It can't do the Yoinky Sploinky to buy Frost. Oh no, I never saw that one coming. 
A high piece now we're getting it. What? Maybe oh it's happening, maybe. We'll see. There goes their devil. Oh, I never saw that one coming. Snowguard Hawk Star Lord It's every kid's dream. Reveal what is hidden. Show me what we got, Daredevil. What do we gotta think about? What do we have to scan? And what would be a good top deck? I wish I got Sarah at least. Like, Sarah makes me at least try to play my deck in a real sense. Star Lord is pretty good. I better just play out all my cards and hope to top deck something really good. I don't think he would snap. That's what Daredevil is good for. If I'm at least playing a bad deck, Daredevil makes my opponent not able to snap. Most of the time. Ah! Yeah, the game won't matter. They're just trying to alive. So, it turn the game turns to us. Let's hope it generates something good. Agent 13, give the pop a new pair of sneakers, alright? Huh? Okay, what is it? Fantastic. <laughs> I mean, what did I expect? Let's not lie to each other. What did I expect? Now, now, now. Oh god. It can only end so well. He's not afraid of a Miss Marvel, so I doubt he would play mid. If he snaps, we're getting out. But he has, like... Why am I even staying? I'm so dead. Like, they have so much energy cheating. Wait, don't I win? We just beat Loki! We Love conquered all! Love has conquered everything in Marvel Snap! We just beat one of the best decks in the game with this! Good job, us! Great job! We did it, boys! Love conquered everything! So, we have proven that this deck can win because it just gets a lot of stats. We really need Captain America, though. The entire deck is built with him in mind. Now, you might say, why exactly Captain America? Well, Captain America is a free 9 if we completely fill the lanes. The worst card in the deck, I think, is Angela. Definitely, like, she just doesn't really do anything. She's a 2... Seven if we go hard enough, but we only can go so hard with like vision. It's just I don't think it's that good I don't think vision uh, Like the vision a portion of the deck with Scarlet Witch is probably the best variant like that's all we got Otherwise, we just need Sarah and a way to play everything out Yeah, I'm gonna play destroy the event is happening. I'm gonna play destroy. I'm the lamest person ever. I'm just gonna play Vanilla ass, crusty ass, boring ass, destroy. Holy god damn, dude. Like, is everyone- and is anyone gonna play the new thing? No. I haven't seen one new thing so far. I'll tell you right now. Like, nothing. <laughs> nothing. Oh, and we lost priority. Damn it. I really wanted to switch the Quantum Realm. Well, we better play Mr. Fantastic. Carnage! I love Destroy! <laughs> oh my god, I love playing Destroy! Everyone, when they fucking get anything new, can we play something else? <laughs> Why does everyone keep playing the same stupid thing? It, apparently, I am God and Jesus and everything all in the universe. How did we ever win this? Maybe because they didn't get X-23 or Deadpool, I guess. Maybe he's thinking we're playing... Oh, he's playing Sarah, he's gonna kill me. No. I'm playing Love. Love is conquering you right now. Give me everything. Love will conquer you. Come on, bring it on. Bring it on. Like, take it all. And at least we're not complaining as much. Like, if Rolik isn't saying, Man, I really hate this so far, we're having a good time, aren't we? And I can send it from Ghost Fink. Sne uh, Ghost Fink. Ghost Rolik sneak appearance. I don't know. I just don't know about this event. I'd rather have... Okay. Okay. You know that one guy? Like, okay. Is Sauron? No, Sauron kills my deck. 
Yeah, if I play Sauron, I might as well just concede on the spot. I'll play Daredevil. Yeah, we gotta go for Daredevil. This is the fourth destroy match so far. Holy sh no one's even trying it. No one's even thinking about trying the new new stuff. And that's kind of sad. I wish people tried harder. Nico Minoru with the plus effect. You're telling me that the first location was the Triskelion. And they got the best hand po- oh. Mm-mm. He's gonna cope so hard and go for the Carnage. He drew Carnage off the top. Destroy players, man. Their luck is something else. Look, their luck is... It's something else, guys. It's something else. This is something else. Holy shit. So you're telling me he drew three cards from his own deck. Those three cards were Deadpool. Niko Minoru, X-23, and then to top it off, Carnage! Are you serious? Like, oh my god, I couldn't think of a better hand. I couldn't, like, imagine a better hand for you. Deadpool? Of course. Is there another destroy card off the top? It's not, thank god. They're giving him the win! It's literally, hey, win, please! <laughs> like, they're begging him, win, please win, come on, like, come on, we gotta win this, what the hell, are you serious right now? Grandmaster from the Triskelion, oh my god, I'm, I've never seen this good of a hand in Marvel Snap history, I've never seen this good of a hand, holy shit, dude, like, my mind is blown. Holy fuck. At least... <laughs> Are you kidding me? They drew... Six cards! And they're all the best cards in the game. For them. I'm... I'm speechless. I've never seen a hand as good as this. Never. Oh my god. Just... Oh my god. Okay. Lakers in it, you're the luckiest player in the entire world, the universe, whatever. In the entire in microcosm of the universe. You were you were him for this one game. Drew six cards. Oops, all bangers. Let me guess. The draw on the next turn will be death and then null. <laughs> like oh, it's, it's gonna be just like, <laughs> yay, gaming. Okay, up against Doctor Dome. Man went from rank forty-five to one hundred. We all had those moments. He's playing Thanos. So far, I haven't seen one person attempt to play any of the new stuff. So. Results may vary. Maybe you guys will get to see this type of stuff. I don't think I will. <laughs> it's like that one meme. I don't think I will. I don't think I'll see anything. Uh, we'll play Daredevil, definitely. Okay. Uh, Jeff. Okay. Funnily enough, Jeff is good enough. Because Jeff cannot contest on his own. Camp High becoming Vulture. That is useless. We'll play Mista Fantastic. What will he play? Reality Stone was already used. Does he have Lockjaw or Psylocke? He does have Psylocke. Uh, our cards, I don't think our cards care about being leeched. Because of like the couple thing is bypasses everything. Like love should conquer all, right? This is definitely not how you should play Marvel Snap, but this is like my hot take. Like love should conquer all, okay? Think about it for two seconds. Like love should do it. Uh Kaera, he ramped into nothing. <laughs> like, mm hmm, okay. So he ramped into nothing. Ah, the, the famous ramp into nothing play. Uh huh. Do I snap here? Does he play the Alive? There's a lot of things. Cool Obsidian did come out! Why didn't I make a video on it? <laughs> I just had a little bit of an oopsie moment. 
<laughs> oh yeah, you I forgot about something! Colobsidian! There you are! Finally, we get to see your ass! We're gonna snap here, bluff snapping to- uh, Bluff snapping is the way, never forget. Bluff snapping is the way. Can we beat his deck? If he drops a blob mid, we don't die. But we die to an ally. If we get like bukaki, we get murdered. But otherwise, it doesn't matter. We manage to win another game. Love is love is reducing my rank. What? <laughs> I won a game and lost rank. What the hell happened? Did I make it? Did, I, did the game give up? Was it Romic? Romic, you gotta stop. Look, love does conquer everything, but we gotta conquer your conquering because what are you doing? People are gonna stop playing the game! Snap, turn one. No. Please, God! Give me priority! I lost a 50 50 in two, two, two turns in a row. Two, rows in, uh, two turns in a row, I lose 50 50. Yeah, I know what, worst thing. Don't tell me he drew two fucking rocks. And one of them is Mindstone, like, come on. One. Mindstone, sure. It can be still bad. Kaira, I don't care. Scroll Witch! Cancel it out! Well... Your hand is full! Your hand is full! You fool! <laughs> Our hands are full! Nobody's drawing anything! Not anymore, we aren't! Wave into... something. Well... Mista Fantastic, Bomba Fantastic. We're gonna... we definitely gonna do something, though. I shouldn't play Orca Whale. Very fast. I should wait. Seta being dropped is very powerful. Yeah, we'll play Seta out. Come, Seta! The Blob. Uh, funnily enough, as long as he doesn't grow manageable to a point. Uh, for now... Let's focus. I don't know if he plays the alive, so we have to be very careful. And we have to think about what the final turn will be. Okay. Holy shit, Scar. Time Stone. I have a feeling they played the alive. I don't know why. You know how you have that sinking feeling sometimes? Like, you don't know why, but you just know for some reason. That some things will just happen. That is... One of the worst cards in the game. Now I know all of you Meek fans at home will be crying your ass off about how Meek is secretly the best card in the game, but sorry boys, I have to be the bearer of bad news here. No. <laughs> no. Just no. What? Abramic? No. 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 No, he is not. Uh, what do we do here? I have a feeling that this is just the tits, like, you know? He saw Sarah. He has to be afraid of something. And if Gamora hits, she's 13 power. 27. So I think it looks kind of good. No. Well, 13 power is a lot, but you know what's more? Uh, too much. I like too much power. If Gamora actually had a. <laughs> if we had Wong under Gamora, we would have won! No shit, oh my god damn it. They just had too much. If I played Gamora mid. There was a chance, but I didn't think he'd- I think- I thought he would reinforce Blob. Because, if you're afraid of a giant turn- Why did he leave himself open to Shang-Chi? Not Shang-Chi, Shadow King. Like, you saw Sarah, right? Okay, then, I guess... That was a line. In someone's head. Why wouldn't you Magneto mid? Yeah, that makes no sense. That was bad. That was just bad. Bad from our opponent, but it didn't end up winning him the game. I just don't think that was good. Nah, in no world was that the right line. Why wouldn't you Magneto mid? You 
Instantly cancel out the Captain America problem on right. You get to reinforce left. Because stuff is flying there. Uh, what? That doesn't make any sense. Okay. But let's see if anyone so far will play one single thing. One power couple card. One. Just one. As many as we want. Just one. I just want to see one of them. I have only one one cost card, but... I guess I'll make some Brotherhood happen here. Captain America! Invisible Woman. Lizard. Don't tell me you made Sarah! <laughs> Come on! No! Disgusting! Okay. Scarlet Witch! Adds a random free cost card. Ghost! You fool! I am the one who actually doesn't have priority. Well, I can make it a sneaky time. Oh no. Oh no. Oh wait! He's at 9. I thought he would gain that one power right now. I was like, oh no. Oh no. Oh no, oh no, this is bad stuff, stranger danger, no, <laughs> like Vision will die! I mean, we're up against Sarah, obviously, what else would it be? Like, come on, don't even give me that, like, it, oh, maybe you don't make it's not Sarah! Totally, like, totally it's not Sarah, it's it's, it's her cousin, Brera, Goose, a Polaris. Do you believe love can bloom on a battlefield, for my friends? <laughs> if I do this, he has priority. <laughs> hey, I only died to Eliab. Like, come on. It's not that bad. It is that bad, but come on. Uh, so. I should snap. I should. It's so funny. Come on. Don't you dare Sarah me, though. Come on. Okay, we're snapping here. I don't care. I want to see the game close out. Like, I want to see what we can do. It's so fun and cool, like, this is really cool. Wait, huh? Why does Vision have 10? <gasps> Captain America! Ah! Ah! <laughs> oh my god, I almost died! I almost died back there! Holy shit! <laughs> Motherfucker was giving me a heart attack, what happened? If I die, no one thing, boys, I was the coolest. Come on, I was the coolest guy today. No! Wait! Got him! There we go, got him! There we go, She-Hulk! My Daredevil, no! She-Hulk! Rise! Aww. Expected. Gambit Rogue. You know what? That was sick, but we were sicker. I expected Gambit Rogue. We would have lost to Gambit Rogue. That was awesome. What a cool ass deck. That was incredible. I don't know about the lizard, but otherwise everything is so cool and based. Like, that was fun. That was cool. I want more stuff like this. And, I, you know what? Okay, here's another thing I should critique. I want more stuff like this because people are actually playing stuff not being immediately like, we're gonna climb now because everyone is playing the best decks in the game and we're not gonna participate in the event. It's an easy way to gain cubes. Like, get the fuck out of here. Stop being cringe. Play. I don't know, I, it, I consider it, like, really cringy. Just not a fan. I'm not a fan that people can just say, Ah, oh, I don't care, I'll just play my stuff, like... And why does... Wait a minute, where's Kazar and Shauna getting the buff? What, are they divorced? What's it? What? I didn't even think of that. Huh. Okay, then. Oh! <laughs> Please! Kill him! <laughs> yeah!
Yeah. That was great. That was great. That was a banger. Woohoo. <laughs> Just don't get lockjaw, okay? We're good. We're we're fine. Don't be lockjaw. Kayera! Okay, I'm gonna go keep talking like this because it annoys people. I sound like my guy from Naruto. Believe it. <laughs> I don't know, I don't I don't fucking watch Naruto. Even though it's like a Serbs would kill me if I said that out loud, like, hey guys, Naruto is kinda mid. <gasps> Romic, what are you saying? Naruto is the best! Like, okay, Naruto ver fun best! Like, in a Swedish tone. Oh, ho, ho, what's happening over here? Did my friend hear Brick? Is he me? On another monitor? Oh god, Captain America. He's so good. He's so good! He should be this normally! <laughs> he should be this every day. Every day. I dream... I dream that vision was this good. Oh. Do you guys know what our friend here is trying to do? As Yugi would say, I see what you're trying to do, but unfortunately that's not going to work. Uh, how do we just win? Uh, if we keep it this way... I definitely should do this, if anything. I'm expecting... Okay. Okay, we gotta think here. Uh, something we don't usually have to do in Marvel Snap, but we have to think here. No matter what, we have to contest the sewer system. But then... We face another issue. Vision moves somewhere. I have a feeling he's gonna move Vision mid... So he could play a 6 cost into Vormir. Anyone else thinking about that? Because that's my, like, little idea. Of what, our, of what our friend is trying to do here. Okay. Or he will just run. Run like a bitch! He's playing meta! Run! Run like a little bitch! Get out of here! Oh, yeah. Seeing our cube rate be so good makes me feel so much better. You know what? Being plus seven cubes is... Way better than I thought Love would actually do. Because I thought this deck was gonna be like minus 25, and it ended up working way better than I thought it would. So guys, let's go back to the deck here. Is this deck broken? Nah, but it's fun. Like, it's just, it was fun. Like, at most, our, all of our cards are series free and below. Like, I didn't think it was gonna be this good, but it just is. Because you're playing a free 4, a free 5, a 1 5, a 1 4. It's so good. Angela, my god, you're bad. But otherwise, everything else is hunky-dory. Did Angel manage to redeem herself in the final game? Uh, your, her simps will tell you that she did, but I don't think she did. She's actually not that good. Not that good in this deck. We'll have to be thinking about what a better two-card combination is, but Sarah is needed. She's needed too much. So, if you want to forego actual power coupleness, you can if you want to play more meta-like, but if you want to just play good old fun stuff, hey boys, this is the deck for you. So out of 10 games, we managed to go for a 70% win rate with a score final being 7 cubes. Not good. I mean, it was kind of good. It has a positive win rate and a positive cube rate, but I wouldn't consider this any new meta threat. But if you want to play with a lot of your old cards and you want to see Captain America for the final time in his life shine, make sure to play this deck. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the Snap Mini as we do this every day and it helps me a lot. Whatever. Yada, 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 boys. Love you all. Take care of yourselves.